Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. And today, I want to talk about the truth in repairing keyboard of laptops. Because I've been fixing laptops many months ago, way back in my college days. And I have these faulty keyboards. Some of them are sticky because of I spilled coffee or water on the keyboard. Or some of the keys are not working because of moist, melted under the keyboard. And try to fix this one, clean it, make it work again. But then the thing is, after a week or a month, the client would come back and say, you know what, the keyboard, it's not working again. So I ended up replacing those keyboards. Now, it kind of reminded me right now because I have this laptop, it's still decent. It is um, Dell Latitude i7 with eight gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not going to try and fix the keyboard that are not working. I'll just go ahead and replace the keyboard. And that's what I'm going to show you to today. So to give you an overview about this laptop, the problem is some of the keys are not working. Okay, so I went online and ordered the exact replacement for it. So my advice to you guys, if you're a tech or you're trying to fix a keyboard, don't even think about it. If you know that the keys are not functioning well, no chance, just go ahead and replace it one, 101% one, oh, one of course it's going to work. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, always remember guys, the very first thing you're going to do if you're going to open a laptop is shut it down. So for me, I shut it down. First, you need to remove the battery. And I gotta tell you guys, this is the worst, or let's say the hardest keyboard replacement I ever did in my entire life, okay? Because most of the keyboards that I replaced before, you just pop it with a few screw up and then you're going to open it and replace the keyboard. For this, you need to entirely remove the motherboard, a lot of parts, basically all of it. Then there's another board that supports the keyboard. There you go, popping it out. And then after that, I need to remove the screw again. There you go, more. Like, and I'm going to show you that somebody spilled milk on this keyboard. And even though it's dried up, the effects of that is still in the keyboard. So there you go, it's removed. It's time to put this new keyboard into the place. And of course, I'm going to screw a thousand screws back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, guys, this took me like one hour, 30 minutes to remove these cables, the board, put it back again. And imagine like, yeah, literally it's like a hundred screw that I removed here. Okay. But yeah, that's the beauty of fixing laptops, computers. You need to love it. All right. We're finishing it up. Okay, battery is back. The final countdown. Then, it's time to put the case. <laughs> like, I, I literally need to find the screw. Hmm. And, we need to power it back on. And by powering it on, guys, it means to say that there's nothing that was broken inside. We did it perfectly. We only need to test the keyboard. There I go. I'm typing. And this is the single sentence that's going to test all the letter keys on your laptop or computer. It says, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog at the corner of the house. Yeah. Literally, that's what I type if I'm going to check the keys of the keyboard and, of course, the letters. And if I got that one correct, I'll just go ahead and do the num lock, cups lock, shift, and everything works. Well, of course, it's going to work. So, once again, guys, if it's a keyboard thing on a laptop, I got to tell you if there's something wrong, sticky, something's being pressed, or something's not working, spilled coffee, got wet the very perfect solution is replace the keyboard. Well, I hope this video has been informative for you guys and I would like to thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed in my YouTube channel, 
consider subscribing and see you on my next video. Bye.